Jā, jā, tas ir tas, kas mums ir jo pusstundu mani materiāls, ko es var tālāk lietot, no kā var sataisīt. Good morning. Welcome to a series of webinars to provide support for high quality experience for the intern hosting startups. And currently you can follow the webinar on the University of Latvia streaming or you can ask questions in the Zoom link that you have been provided. But afterwards the webinar will be available in the Knowledge Alliance webpage, so power-placements.eu. And today's agenda is related to different uh, benefits and challenges that, has, that startups have when they are working with student interns. And today's speakers we have here are uh, is Mikus Losans, founder of the Trust Search, and Karl Skibunieks, and he is the head of the University of Latvia Business Incubator. Hi guys. So Mika and Carly, I know. Uh, could you introduce briefly to yourself because I know that you have, you are doing quite many meaningful things related to the both students and the startups and their cooperation. So the floor is yours. Yeah, I have been working in the business incubator for the past three years. Now it's my fourth year, and uh, starting from this, I will be. I am the head of the business incubator. But during uh, these three years, I have been working also and participating in other projects. Uh, yeah, as Christine mentioned, both with uh, students and uh, also with startups. So quite uh, quite good experience seeing what things are working and uh, what things are not working. And probably that's what we will discuss today with uh, Mikus. Uh, hello, uh, I am Mikus Lossans. Uh, I basically also have worked in the University of Latvia Business Incubator together with Carlos, uh, but now I'm uh, working in a startup which is called Trust Search, which is a tool for checking online reputation to websites, and for companies it's a tool for building online reputation. And uh, the biggest experience that I have had with uh, working with interns is actually in the University of Latvia uh, Business Incubator uh, more than, than in a startup. But uh, but the experience is very interesting. So let's let let's let's go 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 there. And uh, during during around seven years in the business incubator that I have been there, uh, we have had around twelve to fifteen interns that have gone through the program from uh, different from different uh, like places. So we have had interns from. From the university, we have from our university, University of Latvia. We have had interns from uh, uh, from uh, also from abroad, from America, from uh, France, from France, Germany, Kenya, and uh, where so was Jake is yeah, Jake's. So basically, like students from all around the all around uh, the place. And uh, yeah, so one interesting thing is that when you take interns, you have to uh, prepare that you will have to maybe like teach them and help help them much more and invest more time of yourself than than just hiring a person because they tend to not have so much experience as a regular employee. But the good thing is that they might have bigger ambition. Uh, they might also have uh, like bigger potential actually to uh, achieve more because they have to show themselves to, to they have to show themselves to the world. This is how we actually have got uh, like quite few very good employees also in the University of Latvia Business Incubator. One of the one of the first uh, uh, very good employee in the Business Incubator was. Uh, was Davis who just applied as an intern with a very, very huge motivation. Usually, when when people apply to internship in uh, in a regular like uh, in a regular uh, company in Latvia, 
uh, which is not super well known, usually you have like maybe 20, maybe 30 applications with very brief, with very brief motivation letters. Uh, Davis stand uh, how very he stand out very good with a way that he actually created extremely good motivation, like one page long motivation explaining in a very specific detail why he is the best candidate that he have participated in different kind of start events, etc, etc. Well, exactly what we needed. So he came in uh, in an internship. Uh, after basically maybe two months, I saw that he's extremely, extremely motivated guy and I offered, I offered him uh, like a job and he became one of the key players in, 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 in building the University of Latvia Business Incubator. After that, he uh, left the Business Incubator to become the manager of uh, one of the biggest co-working and most meaningful co-working space in Latvia, which was Tech Hub. So that was very good also for him. And it was very good also for the University of Latvia Business Incubator because we pushed the, pushed the incubator forward very, very well. And, uh, and yeah, and, and for, for the intern it was super valuable as well because there was like a person who haven't, haven't maybe done much previously but when he started in the, in, in the business incubator he could show the, himself, show himself to the community and then he got an offer for a very good, uh, fair, for a very good job. Uh, so yeah, maybe you can also yeah, the share. Main, the this main was thing. the good, good. This was the good. <laughs> this was the good experience. But we have had also the, not so good experience. Yeah, not so good. The main thing actually is to understand what's the motivation for the intern to come in and uh, and work. Is uh, so, sometimes some students who are looking for internship they come in uh, to the business incubator saying that uh, hey, we need internship and. Uh, somebody from university suggested uh, for us to come and speak to you but you can see that uh, they are not familiar with uh, what your what the business incubator is doing or in company's case they wouldn't know exactly what the company is doing and you can see that uh, they just need an internship so if they are looking that only for to check the box that they have the internship that probably isn't the right candidate for you because it's afterwards really hard to work with them, like last year we also had uh, experience like that, that you see that uh, you give some kind of task for uh, for this intern, but he's not uh, motivated uh, to do that. You check what he has done and you see that he's <laughs> moving really slowly with, uh, with the assigned tasks, so the motivation is uh, the first question that uh, probably I would uh, ask for any intern when he wants to join your team then you ask why he how he heard about you does he know what you are doing and what what's the motivation for him to join you that's yeah because um, with Davis it's also he was interested in this like startup yeah, thing startup. before so he he saw himself there that's why he wanted to prove himself in the business thing better and he, his motivation and attitude was much more serious than uh, maybe for uh, other candidates. Then um, very big potential for startups is uh, working with uh, interns that are coming from Erasmus of, for young entrepreneurs or Erasmus internship because Erasmus interns uh, can receive up to three, four hundred euros, five hundred euros. It depends on the country, because uh, if you go to more expensive country like Denmark or Sweden, I think in Sweden it was uh, around nine hundred, something yeah. like that. So, so in Latvia, interns could get, interns from Erasmus internship could get like three hundred euros. So uh, it's very, it's a very good like uh, intern flow that you can get to. If you can uh, advertise yourself to those interns by just applying and showing that you are open for uh, Erasmus interns, then you can have very good talent flow uh, in incoming, which you're not going to have to pay for, but uh, the Erasmus uh, funding grants are going to pay for the internship. And that's a very valuable thing to, to have. Uh, but then there is also like, uh, you want to add something? Yeah, but the one thing is that, uh, yeah, they basically get, got paid from Erasmus and then what 
they should expect from the startup is that they will be doing more meaningful things than in because if the intern joins big company then probably what he will do is uh, go copy <laughs> some pages and uh, like b- bring the coffee for a uh, boss but in the startup or if he joins smaller team then uh, he can expect that he will have to do like uh, things that really matter for that company and afterwards in case he decides to leave the the company after this internship that then he already has in the resume something that uh, hey have done these and these things i have some proven uh, track record which in big companies much longer process if you um, for example i was an intern in an airport which is like traditional corporate uh, thing so you just if you join that thing then you can expect that you will have to go step by step starting from doing um, pretty simple things and if you want to move up that takes a really long time so in startups it's startups are moving much faster than the established companies and the interns should be ready to do the same yeah that's right uh, then there is one interesting uh, <clears throat> aspect to talk about when you're wor- working with interns is uh, the culture difference, right? Uh, and uh, and they're like <clears throat> the good thing is that when when someone from outside comes to your company from some kind of other culture, he brings a lot of like uh, cultural things that can benefit the whole team. But then there is also interesting uh, like challenges, and we can give you some some examples that you that you see that. So. We had uh, one guy, uh, let's say that his name was uh, like Mike, <laughs> and uh, he was from uh, Kenya, right? From Kenya? No, I Nigeria. Think Nigeria. Yeah. He was from Nigeria, and uh, we, we, we basically arranged a meeting with him at 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning, and he didn't come. After I ate six or seven hours, uh, we somehow were in the incubator back then and some kind of guy comes into the room and he says like hey i just came for a meeting we said what kind of meeting well i had an internship interview with you like what you had internship interview like six hours ago like oh really i thought that i can come whenever whenever i want and when we continued to work with him he actually continued to work like that he just didn't rex- respect any time time constraints, and this was inter- interesting experience. But we ha- also had a ex- this cultural cultural difference. Yeah, you if you don't check them at the beginning of internship, probably you will notice them during the internship that uh, you have used to think in uh, in one way. You are doing things in in one way, but. Uh, the person comes from another country, maybe they are doing that in a different way, not always in a, like in a bad way, but just in different than you have thought. So you have to also be ready to that and maybe adjust a bit to them, not in this case, because uh, well, you can't miss the meeting by six hours, but uh, yeah, you have to be ready that they are thinking a bit differently and doing things in, a, in another way. So. Then there was another another example. We had a gym from U.S. from USA, and uh, and uh, as uh, as the culture in the United States, people are super positive and and, and open. But then uh, we are in 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 Latvia. We are like much more cold, and much more <laughs> less emotional. And then this uh, American guy intern comes in, and he says like he says like like oh my god. I'm so grateful about this huge experience, huge opportunity that you have given me. And then he's like grateful for everything and everything is awesome. And everything is, thank you, this is the best challenge ever. This is awesome. And uh, and with this kind of like... And then it's hard to understand if he really enjoys <laughs> the, the internship or... He's a bit uh, over uh, overreacting to this because everything you give for him, he likes. He's super excited about the task, <laughs> and you never the result know. not always is is the one that you are expecting. But he's still super excited about things he's doing. So a bit hard to evaluate these kind of yeah. uh, these and kind the, of people. 
And these things are super interesting, right? When you take uh, interns from abroad, because you see the different cultures and uh, yeah. Well, now, because for the next uh, starting from 2020, we will also we are looking for new interns, and now from the previous experience, I know that. Uh, one thing is when the intern finds you, that he comes and says that, hey, I want to join your company, your team. The better way probably is that uh, you are looking for the intern, you specify things that uh, you will give for him to do, you have some kind of specific tasks, you know uh, what kind of motivation you are looking in, into the people and then basically you send out uh, like you post advertisements and all this, that you're looking for this kind of intern, but uh, then again, that's only the intern, that's not uh, experienced employee, so you have to have somebody in your team that, uh, especially at the beginning, will be able to work and show for this intern how it's done. So even if I would look, I don't know, for a marketing guy, then I have to know that in my team already has to be somebody who is doing marketing who will be able to show for this uh, for this intern how it will how it should be done but it's yeah much better if you will uh, specify the things and maybe the position that you're looking intern in that's uh, working a bit better also we had uh, an incubator uh, one marketing company market me good and they were looking for interns and actually it worked pretty well for them because the core team afterwards was the ones which uh, joined mm. as an intern. They were super motivated but the, the leader of the, the company who established the, the whole thing, he was looking for specific, specific things that he wants to see in these people and afterwards it went very well for them. So, yeah. so when you are saying the <coughs> specific, specific things for these interns, so do you mean it is just the the works, uh, the the work that they need to do, do or the skills, or uh, the the per personality traits. So how can we specify exactly what we want? How detailed we should be to to have the successful match? Probably he will not have the the experience at uh, this point in maybe in that position because maybe he's still in the university or uh, right after the university. But if you say that hey, I'm looking for person who will work in this field, for example in marketing, and some of the tasks that we think we will give for you is this, so mm -hmm. we are looking for the person who is motivated to do this, to prove us that, uh, that he wants to do that, that he has this motivation, that he sees himself in the future in this, this position, and then in the like nice to house you can mention that it would be good if you already have experience, if now then uh, the main thing would be the attitude that uh, yes I can do this because we also have had experience uh, with two interns they were in the in the incubator at the same time so one of them was more like if I haven't done this it's okay I will learn how to do this and the other one was a bit more shy he was oh I haven't done this and he wasn't interested to learn how to do this so if you say for them that you will accept that you're looking for people in this position, it's okay if you don't know how to do this yet, but you should be really motivated to learn these things and uh, to prove yourself in, in this in this position and uh, in this field that mm -hmm. the company is working. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and so when you also coming back to the question about uh, skills, what what are you like looking for? First of all, you have to specify. Like you have to write down, as, as in regular job advertisement, write down the skills that you are actually looking for. Also in the intern, uh, you just have to take into account that the intern don't, is not going to have maybe such an experience. Uh, but um, I want to like also give an, another example in, uh, in conferences. So you might have seen that in conferences there are like hundreds or even thousands of people who are interns and uh, they are basically doing the, the whole job and uh, like interns are extremely huge potential that though if you are able to build a brand uh, which is very like sexy for interns uh, like a conference like a big conference 
then uh, that's a very good way how the intern can get actually uh, a very good record, record in, uh, in, their, in their CV. So in conferences, they, they got like hundreds and thousands of interns. And, and, and if you can build the internship like strategy uh, in a very smart way and in a very structural way, you can actually create uh, an army of people who don't co who cost you like uh, who cost you in around uh, in around a meal uh, costs. So 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 that's a very big potential if you can know how to work with them. And on top of that, uh, you can find extremely good talent that are going to become maybe the next leaders in the future. So, and you better, you better learn how to work with them, but this, because this is how you can build extremely good and competitive company. If you can identify that young person, uh, that like 16, 17, 18, 19 year old young person who has like spark, spark in, in, their, in their eyes and who is ready to challenge the world. If you can find that during the internship, then you're going to be in front of all of the competition. Yeah, speaking about this, how much it costs for the intern you said for a <coughs> cost of meal. Um, outside the conference, if you take somebody in your team as an intern, then even if you are not paying for him, let's say that Erasmus will pay the intern this uh, scholarship. Think what other benefits uh, you can uh, give for this intern while he is in the company that it wouldn't be that uh, you are your core team is doing one thing and then you are not involving the intern in there. For example, if we are going to some SARTA conference, then we are usually taking an intern with us. That's like bonus for them that uh, they got like paid and, and ticket to attend this conference. They can meet other people from this industry. If we are uh, going to meet some big name from the industry, the intern can join join this meeting, so he established some kind of contacts. I don't know, you can uh, throw monthly dinner for your intern, stuff like that, so the interns would see that uh, they are valued in your in your team, even if you are not uh, paying for, for them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the, the, the good thing is that uh, if the startups are deciding to have the to host the interns, so the first thing is to really to write down things that they are needed. Then, when they receive this information, so kind of application to look for the motivation. So either in the written form, uh, most probably to meet or to have a Skype call if that is uh, internationally uh, um, this intern and then to provide different kind of other uh, benefits additionally to the scholarship or uh, non-scholarships, uh, these interns that they receive that could be different kind of events, dinners together, something like that. Yeah. Um, is there something else that we can provide to the interns so that the interns really feel very, very satisfied and emotionally dedicated for the company? It shouldn't be that uh, you say, okay, you will be intern for, uh, let's say, half a year and then at the end of the six months we will evaluate and maybe we will give you paid position in your company you should think because people usually want to get some kind of reward really fast and uh, soon so let's say after you say okay if you will manage to do do these things then after one half months we can uh, give you this kind of like um, bonus of art. Right now we are also thinking how to motivate our teams in the business incubator and then we are thinking the team that will uh, do the best job during customer discovery which is interviews and making tests and uh, for the best team we will give uh, like next month we will give uh, this uh, Amazon gift certificate so mm -hmm. they will be able to buy something in the <laughs> Amazon. It's like small thing but they have some kind of competition uh, inside and they can get this reward really fast because the main prize we are giving after one year in the incubator. So if we give like smaller awards during this this process, they have some kind of uh, additional motivation. So mm. yeah. Um, and those benefits, uh, of course, you add that to to the vacancy when you are mm -hmm. like uh, advertising for the internship. 
but the how to basically show value to, to the intern is, in my opinion, is by giving very responsible tasks. Mm-hmm. And if uh, the person is going to see value from, uh, from their job and something that they're going to learn, I think that they're going to value the internship. And if you're going to ask him to bring coffee and to go and throw away the, the garbage bin, then, uh, then he's not going to be happy. But if you're going to give him a task to like, figure out uh, a new product or, or figure out a new product or a new idea, or maybe there is a big challenge of uh, uh, getting, I don't know, uh, new clients in this, in this, in this uh, industry, then, and it, it seems like that he can achieve that, then if he will achieve that, he will get, get extremely huge like, internal reward for that, that he actually managed to, managed to come over like maybe some, something hard and he has achieved something. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then just going, stepping back a bit, like, but still, there are startups, uh, there are quite many startups who are thinking, okay, this is a cost efficient talent search, very good opportunity, but how to know that uh, in your startup company that uh, you are ready to host the intern? So, because there are, there are risks related to that, and how to, like, to check uh, certain things that okay, it's better to take the intern or not to take the intern. So where I am, I'm standing in. Are there certain, I don't know, some tips that you could say? You should have somebody in your team who will have these uh, weekly meetings with mm-hmm. intern because, yeah, as we said previously, you can't just give them a task and expect that uh, yeah. Yeah. they will do it. They probably will have some kind of questions during the process. Maybe you have... Imagine that they will do that in a bit different way. So if you don't have a person in your team who will be able to work with these interns, then probably you are not uh, not ready to take them, or you are just betting on luck that you really get one out of hundred of the interns that who will be able to do the task right away. So yeah. Uh, so you because we also. When we started to take interns more often, we already knew that, uh, okay, we will have to work with them. Like, we will have to have, during the week, some hours that we spend on, on these on these interns, so. Yeah, you, maybe you don't spend money, but you have to spend your time and experience on explaining and showing and figuring out how to, like, actually also figuring out the tasks to give, give the intern. And, uh, and yeah, so basically you're not paying in money, but you're paying in your time. Mm-hmm. But one, two hours per week, just something so that the, it's the not startups... Like one, two, it's not one, two hours per week, it's much more. So, so it of course depends from the intern and the structure, how you have created their internship. But if you have like two interns, it's going to take much more than two hours per week. Mm-hmm. It will be at least like, I don't know, half an hour or one hour per day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just dedicated for that. Uh, of mm-hmm. course, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. and uh, and how and are there some other tips? For example, how to give the task uh, and and the things that you are expecting from intern enough clearly <laughs> to the intern so that you have the same understanding. Because if you are working in the startup, you have the idea for a while. You know that it from the scratch, the whole thing. But probably the intern, especially if that is international intern, will uh, his or her understanding could be a different. Are there some tips? So okay, how to really check and be sure that we are on the same page? Well, you ask. Usually, when you give them a task or you explain it, you ask them to say that in in their own words, so mm-hmm. they would explain how they understood that. And if you see that that's completely wrong, then. <laughs> you do it again because we have had also that kind of cases and uh, if they if from what they said that they understood it seems okay then you just check it uh, during the not like after a week but let's say next day you ask okay can you show me please what you did Mm -hmm. and then if if you see they are moving in the right direction then you would just let them to do that if if you see that you have to Advi- give them advice how to do it a bit differently than you than you do it. But you can't, yeah, you can't just say it like strictly 
you yeah. did it completely it's wrong because that gets get their there. motivation a bit uh, yeah. a bit down and you can get absolutely different result that you were expecting that's right you have to ask for feedback and it's very this is very important uh, worth mentioning again that uh, when you're explaining the the task you have to ask like what exactly you have to do can you tell me how do you understand if you are not going to do that then you're in trouble Actually, one important thing that we haven't mentioned here, we are speaking about international students, which is good that you can take them as an intern, but then you have to think about uh, is your company working with international clients and in what environment your company is working, because we also see that in the, in the University of Latvia Business Incubator that we take international students as an intern, and you have to understand that you will not be able to give him all of the things because he's not speaking in Latvian, he's not understanding in Latvian. So, for example, communication on social media that we do mostly on uh, in Latvian, he will not be able to do that. Maybe he will not be able to speak with uh, some mentors that are coming because they are you speak in Latvian. So there is, yeah, you have to think is the things that you will give for this internet. Can he do that in English or uh, any other language that isn't your uh, country's native mm -hmm. uh, native language? So that's one of the things that you have to consider when you take international student. Yeah. So to to summarize, um, interns are extremely like huge opportunity that you can use. You have to you have to figure out the way how to work with them and. Uh, and then use this opportunity in, uh, in basically in your company company's advantage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then just the, that's that's very good summarization. And to sum up the, with the challenges that could be, these could be related to the understanding of the things that you are asking. Uh, then uh, related to cross cultural differences. Uh, language-wise, uh, time perception, mm -hmm. and and these kind of things. Are there some other other challenges that could be? And then, just as a final remark, you know, that we could give as a tip. There could be some other challenges. So cross-cultural time management languages. Uh. Uh, maybe challenge that you don't uh, write your expectations too high. Okay because you're going to be disappointed. So better be sure that maybe two people from, from three, uh, like two interns from three are going to be uh, not good candidates and one is going to be good. If you're going to lower your expectations, you're going to be happy. You'll get very good result. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, then uh, I don't see any uh, questions in the Zoom, so I think that these were the the the, base, the, the, the very good tips that uh, startups uh, could take into account when they are deciding to take the intern, or and and how to uh, make uh, best and maximum out of that for both sides to be satisfied and and efficient. Okay. Yes. Yep, thank you very much for, for inviting us. Yeah. Thank you, thank, thank you, you Mikun, and thank you, Carlos. All thank right. you very All much. Right. Bye.